Hi everyone, Jeanette Oakman, Psychic Artist again. I'm going to have some fun today because apparently I'm going to draw upside down and I have done this for quite a while. So um, please bear with me. <laughs> right, okay. It's a long time since I've worked this way. As you can see, drawing upside down does not mean I have to do a handstand. And you wouldn't believe the amount of times I've actually been asked that. It's so actually got me bits and pieces the way that I need them to go. Now, there's a couple of different beliefs as to why the medium might draw upside down. Um, it could be that really the mind actually sees images upside down as it enters the brain and then the brain turns it round so it could be that is the reason why it works but I believe that the most logical reason for drawing in this way is because have you ever looked at a photo of someone upside down and it just doesn't look anything like them, does it? It looks so different. Um, and because of that, you're really having to concentrate on what you're doing, but you're less likely to actually um, have as much control over um, what you're doing. So spirit can have... a a bit more fun than what you normally let them because you're not trying to make it look like someone who you feel oh yeah it's just like this look like that you know it's, it's just easier to step back from the picture than what you would normally be able to do let's say you know it's a long time since I have drawn in this way so, um, this is going to be fun. <laughs> and uh, I like having fun when I'm working. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think, oh, here, you know, I'm doing things opposite direction way to what I would normally do. So... You can always tell when I'm concentrating more as well, because I say less than what I do normally. <laughs> but I'm still having all the same signs from my guides like I would normally have, you know. Um, I was working the other way. It's a, it's a great practice to do. And children love it. They love to see someone drawing something upside down. And uh, adults as well, in my experience. <laughs> so, anyway. Great fun. But I can honestly say I'm worrying more about what the pencil's doing than, sorry, the biro is doing than what I would normally be. Normally I'm more focused on trying to keep everything the way it should be. And even if the face is upside down, whichever way around, all the proportions will always stay the same. 
the length of the nose, I'll show you from the bottom of the nose as to where the chin goes. It will also show you where the hairline will start as well. The hairline will be about here. The eyes will always remain in the bottom half, um, in the middle of the head. So you measure from the chin to the eye. You see my top of my pen and my finger is actually touching one of the eyes. So then I just transfer them over and I can see, all right, okay. So I knew this was going to be a big one, so you have to forgive me, um, because that's the way sometimes. Um, I'm not quite sure, actually, as to why sometimes some portraits come out a lot bigger. I, th I, th I wonder sometimes if it's because... Um, You know, some of their personality, you know. They're quite a big personality. And they were here. They're quite a strong person. They're the kind of person that walked in the room and you knew they were there straight away. But they don't change. And they pass over. You know. And it will start sprouting wings and things. We wouldn't want them to anyway, would we? So again, we, we still know that the ear is at the bottom of the nose and we'll start around about the eyebrows because it has to. Because if not, their glasses wouldn't stay on their head. Um, we don't want the glasses falling down. <laughs> I really hope that um, some of you do actually try this, even if mine turns out a little rubbish at the end of it, that you do actually give it a go. Uh, you, you might surprise yourself. Um, I've actually drawn portraits before now um, at a psychic fair and um, I was drawing in a way so that I could see what was going on and um, the person I was drawing for was sitting opposite me and what actually happened was that they go, oh yeah, I know who that is, oh yes, I know who that is, as, as I'm working. <laughs> and when I finished, I actually turned the picture around and as I turned the picture around the look of shock on their face because once it came around the other way it became someone completely different who they recognised so uh, if you've ever had a spirit portrait from not just me but by anyone you know uh, Try looking at it upside down and see if it resembles somebody else then. Or perhaps you've got a portrait and you're not sure who it is. Turn it upside down. See if that helps you to see who it is. Well, there would have been a few worry lines along there. It's an age thing as well. Got a few wrinkles. To put. Sorry, laughter lines I'm being told. Laughter lines. Person had a very good sense of humour and uh, yeah. I get a feeling this person was quite a busy person so they didn't always have a lot of time to muck about with their hair um, which explain uh, the way this hair is at the moment. I feel they were a real smiler actually. Now I thought that that mouth was going to be shut. But I'm going to zoom in on the below the camera so you can see. I'm holding my mobile phone so you have to forgive me. It's not an easy task to um, hold a mobile phone and having to look in the viewfinder 
to make sure that it's lined up in a way so that you can still see what's going on as well as well as concentrating on what I'm doing and giving any information that might decide to come that might be given to me my voice feels like it's going to be husky so um, I do feel that maybe maybe um, that might be something to do with this person I'm feeling like I took a lot of pills actually at the end I feel like I was always swallowing pills but I stayed happy so there you have a very basic portrait um, not a lot of shading going on there and now I'm going to turn it round <laughs> well seeing I haven't drawn one for a few years I don't think that's too bad you know um, I want to start playing with it now because it's down the other way and I want to bring this down a little bit um, but quite a happy chappy I would say wouldn't you um, well what do you think are you gonna give it a go why not you can see other videos um, on my YouTube channel, but also as well, you'll also find them on my website with other artwork and readings that I do and teach and whatever on um, www.workingforspirit.com. But you can find me on, on Facebook as well. Just look, look me up, Janet Oakman. Bye.